In this video, I'm going to show you if hearing aids from Costco are any good. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Anthem, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Everyone always asks me if Costco hearing aids are any good, and my response to them is always the same. It really depends on if the hearing care provider who works at that Costco programs those hearing aids correctly and if they follow best practices. You see, it doesn't matter how good your hearing aids are if those hearing aids haven't been programmed correctly to your hearing loss prescription. And one of the main ways that you program a hearing aid correctly is to use real ear measurement. Now, the fortunate thing is, is that Costco actually mandates that their hearing care providers use real ear measurement. But making sure that they use it and making sure that they use it well are two completely different things. Now every week I get patients who come into my clinic who got their hearing aids at Costco and so I'm going to show you a good, a bad, and an ugly fitting by a Costco hearing care provider. When I'm evaluating to see how well hearing devices are programmed, I do two main things. The first one is, is I have a patient fill out a subjective questionnaire to see how much perceived benefit they're getting from their hearing aids. If someone has hearing aids already, I have them complete the International Outcome Inventory for Hearing Aids, which is also known as the IOI-HA. When evaluating hearing aid performance with the IOI-HA, I like to give each column a point value. Since the scores on the right hand side indicate significant benefit with hearing aids, I give boxes in that column a value of 5. The scores on the left hand side indicate almost no benefit with hearing aids and I give boxes on that side a score of 1. The higher the total overall score, the more benefit a patient is receiving from their hearing aids. The lowest score is a 7, and the highest score possible is a 35. Second, I perform real ear measurement to objectively measure whether or not these patients' hearing aids have been programmed correctly to their hearing loss prescription. What this will show me is whether or not they're getting the right amount of amplification at each frequency for their particular type of hearing loss. Now, if you'd like to learn more about these outcome measures, I will have videos linked in the description. So using these two forms of evaluation, let's go ahead and check out the first patient. For simplicity, we will only be focusing on one hearing aid per patient. For this patient, their audiogram indicates a normal, sloping to moderately severe, high frequency sensory neural hearing loss. As we calculate the score for their perceived hearing ability using the IOI-HA with their Costco hearing aids programmed by a Costco hearing care provider, we can see that they scored their performance favorably. Overall, they ranked their performance as a 30 out of 35. When we look at how the hearing aids were programmed using real ear measurement, we are looking to see if their hearing aid amplification matches the prescription for their hearing loss. The pink hash mark line indicates the prescription of amplification for this patient's normal sloping to moderately severe hearing loss, and the solid pink line indicates where the hearing aids are programmed in relation to their prescription. Ideally, we would want these lines to overlap as closely as possible. As you can see, there are a few spots that are under amplified and over amplified, but in general, the Costco provider did a decent job of programming this hearing aid, which is why this particular patient reported good overall benefit from their devices. Overall, this is what I would consider to be a good Costco hearing aid fitting. Now, if a patient's Costco hearing aids aren't locked to where they can only go to another Costco for programming, I will typically go into the software and reprogram them to match their prescriptive targets as closely as possible and adjust any special features of the hearing aids to maximize overall benefit. In this screenshot, the purple line indicates the output of the hearing aid after a reprogramming of this patient's Costco hearing aid. This is about as close as you will ever see a hearing aid output curve get to a prescriptive hearing loss target. Here is an overlapped comparison of the Costco programming to the new programming that I made for this patient. After turning this patient loose for several weeks, I had them come back to complete another IOI-HA questionnaire to see if they saw any improvement, and they improved their score by 4 points from a 30 to 34 out of 35. Alright, now let's check out the second patient. This patient has a mild sloping to moderately severe high frequency sensory neural hearing loss. 
As we calculate their score from the IOI HA questionnaire, we see that they scored only a 19 out of 35, which would indicate poor perceived benefit with their Costco hearing aids. When we check out how well their hearing aids are programmed, we can clearly see that they were not programmed very close to their hearing loss prescription. As you can see, this patient was significantly underamplified in the high frequencies, which are critical for improved speech clarity. A score of 19 on the IOI HA is not surprising considering the programming of this hearing aid. Overall, I would classify this as a bad Costco hearing aid fitting. Fortunately, this patient's Costco hearing aids were not locked and I was able to adjust the programming. I wasn't able to match the prescriptive target beyond 3000 Hz with this Costco device, but as you can see, compared to the Costco programming, we are much closer to the rest of this patient's hearing loss prescription. After adjusting the amplification and the special features of their hearing aids, this patient came back after several weeks to redo the IOI HA questionnaire, which indicated a 13 point perceived improvement from a score of 19 to 32 out of a total 35 points with their properly programmed Costco hearing aids. And last but not least, let's go ahead and check out the third patient's Costco fitting. This patient has a flat, moderate conductive hearing loss. A conductive hearing loss can be identified by seeing a gap between the brackets, which indicate the hearing sensitivity of the hearing organ, the cochlea itself, and the X's, which indicate the hearing sensitivity when sound has to pass from the outer ear through the middle ear all the way into the inner ear. Conductive hearing losses can be tricky to fit with hearing aids if you don't know what you're doing. According to the IOI HA for this patient, they scored their perceived performance with their Costco hearing aids as a 9 out of 35. Let me repeat that in case you missed it, they scored only a 9 out of 35. It doesn't take us long to realize why they scored their performance so poorly when we look at the real ear measurement of their programming. This has to be one of the worst hearing aid fittings that I have ever measured in my office, and this tells me one of two things. Either the Costco hearing care provider did not perform real ear measurement at all, or they actually had no clue how to use the equipment to program these hearing devices correctly. Either way, as a result, this patient went over a year wondering why they were not perceiving any benefit with their hearing aids. This is what I call a ugly Costco hearing aid fitting. To add insult to injury, this patient had purchased locked Costco hearing aids that don't allow me to make adjustments on them, even though the devices were probably capable of being programmed correctly. Fortunately, this patient somehow trusted me to fit them with a new set of devices that I was able to program to their hearing loss prescription, which you can see here. Here is a comparison between their Costco hearing aid programming with their Costco hearing aid and their new hearing aid programming with a new hearing aid. Other than the little dip at 4000 Hz, I was able to match the prescription out to about 7000 Hz. After several weeks of this patient using their new, properly programmed hearing aids, they came back to complete the IOI HA and scored their performance with their hearing aids a perfect 35 out of 35. All right guys, so there's the answer to your question on if Costco hearing aids are any good. As you can see, each one of these patients had hearing aids from Costco that were actually capable of treating their hearing loss and treating it well. It just came down to if those hearing devices were programmed correctly for those individual patients. Now, I'm not saying that Costco hearing care providers are inherently not good at programming hearing devices. I'm saying that in the hearing care industry in general, it just really depends on if the hearing care provider that you work with is capable of treating your hearing loss correctly with whatever devices they recommend for you. So if you end up finding yourself with a hearing care provider that is not getting you benefit with your hearing aids, you need to make sure you find one that does. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.